Jack's amazing shadow. Jack was a perfectly ordinary boy. He enjoyed splashing in puddles and climbing trees. He didn't like mushrooms and his favourite number was usually seven. But there was one teeny little thing about Jack that was most definitely not ordinary. And that was his amazing magical shadow. Jack and his shadow were best friends and they always had lots of fun together. <laughs> Until one day, Jack's shadow got a bit carried away and it was Jack who got the blame. Oops. He tried to explain that it wasn't his fault. Tut, tut. But for some reason, his parents didn't believe him. Jack was fed up. He wanted to be on his own. So he ran away from his shadow as fast as he could. But his shadow ran even faster. He jumped high into the air and it almost worked. But as soon as he landed, his shadow was back. He tried locking his shadow outside and clipping it to the washing line. But nothing seemed to work. Jack got crosser and crosser, but his shadow just laughed louder and louder. Go away, shadow, shouted Jack. You are not my friend anymore. There was a long, heavy silence, and Jack's shadow faded sadly away. Jack checked and double-checked. He couldn't believe it. Finally, he got rid of that pesky shadow. He whooped and laughed and cheered. But after a while, he started to feel a bit funny. Jack tried to cheer himself up, but nothing worked. Something felt wrong. Something was missing. The more he thought about it, the worse he felt. Jack realised he had been mean to his very best friend. He looked for his shadow everywhere, even in the attic. But his shadow was nowhere to be seen. Jack felt cold inside. He worried that he would never see his friend again. But wait... What was that? It was his shadow. At first, neither of them knew what to say. Then, at the same time, they both said, Sorry. And suddenly, everything was all right. Jack felt like the luckiest boy in the world. After all, nobody else had a magical shadow as a best friend. Jack 